Hi, I'm Ishan of DPS Rachi. As we all know, river has its own importance, whether it is Indus Valley civilization or current age. Subarna Rekha has same for Jharkhand. It is lifeline of Jharkhand. Though we cannot compare it with other perennial rivers, but it has its own importance for Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal. This is the origin of Subarna Rekha River, which is situated at village Piska Nagri, 15 km from Rachi. As per tradition, gold was mined near the origin of the river. This is why it was named Subarna Rekha, meaning streak of gold. Legend has it traces that of gold were found in the river bed. Even now, people look for traces of gold particles in its sandy beds. In the course of river, it's created number of falls and Hundru Falls is one of them. Wow, what a natural beauty. This is Hundru Falls. It is created on the course of Subharna Rekha from where it falls from a height of 98 meters. The water falling from such a spectacular height is a sight for, to behold. And this is the most famous tourist spot of Jharkhand. The basin of the Subarnekha River is smaller than most multi-state river basin. The rain-fed river covers a drainage area of 18,951 square kilometer. The major tributaries of Subarnekha River are Kachi, Raro, Kharkhai, etc. Tata Iron and Steel Plant of National Importance is located on the bank of this river. The famous Swan Rekha multi-purpose project is located mainly in Jharkhand state which has two important dams, Chandil and Icha, through which irrigation can be increased manifold times. Let's have an opinion regarding Subarna Rekha River from our Honorable Minister of Water Resource Department, Mr. C.P. Chaudhary. Sir, Subarna Rekha Pariyojana se Jharkhand ko kya kya fayda hai? Subarna Rekha Pariyojana khas karke Jharkhand Raji ke liye hai nahi, balki dousre rajiyon ke liye Bengal aur Odisha dono rajiyon ke liye fayda hai. Isme lagbhag 2 lakh 36 hajar ekad jameen hektar jameen se chit karne ki yeh yojana hai aur इसमें बंगाल का 5000 हेक्टर और उड़ीसा का 16000 हेक्टर और बाकी 126000 हेक्टर लगभग झारखंड का भूमि सिंचित होगा इससे इसलिए बहुत ही बहुदेशीय परियोजना है इसमें 8 मेगावाट बिजली उत्पादन का भी सरकार का प्रोजेक्ट जो बिल्कुल रेडी है और हमारा लक्ष्य है कि 2018 तक इस योजना को हम the source of river is drying and only a small rivulet is left at its origin in Pisca. The area is faced with grave environment and displacement related issues due to project. Large scale mining is found to be slowly killing the river. Much of the extraction of rich resources, especially by the mining and mineral processing industries is unregulated. This contributes to the domestic, industrial and even radioactive pollution of the river which once served as a lifeline of tribal communities inhabiting it. Let's have an opinion regarding pollution on Subarna Rekha River from a renowned environmentalist of national repute, Dr. Nitish Priyadarshi. Sir, what is your opinion regarding pollution on Subarna Rekha River? Basically, we have to implement, there are many laws in, the, in our constitution to, or, uh, uh, to how to fight with this pollution. We have to strictly follow it. Uh, just like that, uh, uh, putting some uh, fines on the industries, uh, requesting the inter industries not to directly pollute the rivers. Uh, before uh, throwing away the mine waste or any spoil heaps, it should be treated before direct flowing it into the Swan Rekha river. There are many more causes are there. Awareness is also there to create awareness among the people that uh, save your river because if the river is not healthy, people will be not be healthy. So it is very essential that river should be healthy. An action plan was initiated by Jharkhand Pollution Control Board to free it from pollution. ITDC body of Union Government has decided to put the important location of this river on the tourist map of the country. So, in the end, I would like to suggest that people should come forward to save the river from pollution so that we get all the benefits of Subarna Rekha River and Jharkhand become a gold land of our country. Thank you.